Now what's he up to? Is he gonna backstab Guy? Who is he sending that picture to or text to? Who could possibly be more powerful than Guy at this point? The eyebrows kid? Did he send it to eyebrows? Anyhow, hello and welcome back to Guilty Crown. My name is Cool Guy for you. We got the dub, episode 19 of 22. So 19, 20, 21, 22, then the OVA. Shu has nothing left. Everything has been ripped away from him. The power structure, all the powers that be against him. He's one-armed. He doesn't have the power of the kings. Guy just totally opposed to him. We got a secret organization, secret society organization overtaking the world. <clears throat> and we also have Mana trying to repossess Inori. Inori fell, uh, fell to Guy. So she is now caught, and she will probably get possessed soon enough. I can't see this ending good. Rebirth. What's the mom up to? Huh? What? Kido Kido He took shoes from out and he Wait, was that a fast forward? Oh no, two different chicks. Okay, never mind. Oh boy. That's gutsy. So. Nah, she's rogue. She was going to kill Mana. Mana is not where she should be. Where is she? This freak creeps me out. He's getting a high off. The idea of resistance to their plot, their evil plot. Crazy. How about why is he like the way he is now?
motherly. Jeez. The first shunt could have ricocheted. He's deliberately causing a situation. Oh no. Laura Menon. What a beast. Oh. That guy's a psychopath. He must have been on pure adrenaline. Oh, man. What? That's the... The third of three. She's in possession of it. Who's going to get it, though? I like the candier's chick.
How is he the same? It was his goal all along? Guy is the ultimate heel now. He's the ultimate heel. I can't believe it. He was intending to be the bad guy all along. At least that's what he says. He was willing to sacrifice himself, so kind of inconsistent, I think. So that adds a element to everything. Psychopath. So if Shu gets it again, though, he's dead. And if if Inori gets possessed by mana. But still, how is he gonna How's he gonna defeat Guy? All the bad guys. Where's eyebrows? Somebody needs to take care of this guy. Ah, come on. He's a smart dirtbag. Ah. Ah, come on. He's going to use it, isn't he? And where it will end.
doesn't care. Here we go again. How does she know? Why the heck does he have her pinned to a cross? Or against one? He's legit now. What? He used it on himself? What? He got his arm back. His missing arm is his void? Sick dirt bag. He's back to the right mindset, though. That's what's important. Ah, oh, come on. the car away there you go all right so one dirt bag down two to go he's gone through a lot uh-oh Oh, shoot. What? Somehow guy knows it was shoe as well. Well, him too, so there's three dirt bags yet. Okay. Of course it ends off there, of course. Of course. So that Kato, or no, 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 the the freak looking guy. We got him down. We got eyebrows. We got Kato, and we got Guy. 
plus we might have mana. So there's four potential enemies that Shu has to deal with. And it looks like Shu, as I expected from the outlook, there was just no way that this is going to have a good ending. No way. Um, the best ending possible is them just overthrowing all the bad guys. But it very much seems like Shu isn't going to make it. And I'm having my doubts about Inori making it due to mana. Um, Guy has Inori there as his trump card. But Shu's going to head straight for Inori to fight Guy and save her. So that's going to be one tricky situation. And he's got his arm back as a void. Where is it? I mean, what's going to happen, you know? What's going to happen? I don't know. I don't know. 20, 21, 22. I, I I really don't know. I really don't know. Even if we have next episode, Guy versus Shu, there's still Inori getting possessed by Mana could be an episode or a huge twist of a moment. You know, maybe he defeats Guy next episode and at the very end Mana possesses Inori or you know it ends off with Guy being defeated and then it kind of leaves off everything's all hunky dory then the beginning of next episode uh, Inori gets possessed by Mana and then she like turns on Shu and we see how that goes. But that still leaves another episode. So 20, 21, 22. There's got to be a pre-conclusion uh, pre leading into the finale. And the finale. So there's still the eyebrows and there's still Kato as well. How is he supposed to wrap it? How is everything supposed to wrap up in time? I don't know. I don't see that happening. And I don't see this ending good. I don't see this ending good. I don't really expect to tear up either but we'll see. Um, I don't think our main characters are going to make it. Ugh. But at least they can try to forge a better world. Aye, aye, aye. Anyhow, I got something else to get to, so thank you very much for watching. Stay tuned for more Guilty Crown dubbed. Next time is episode 20. Of 22 plus the OVA of sorts. I think there's some sort of OVA, so... Anyhow, other than that, um, keep in mind I got the playlist in the description and a link to donate. So, other than that, let me know what you thought of this episode in the comments. Very interesting to be close to having Guilty Crown done. Amazing soundtrack, by the way. Absolutely amazing soundtrack. So... Anyhow, thank you very much for watching. Stay tuned for more. I will see you up ahead. Take her cool.